Hi, welcome to Out of the Rough. My name's Fred Arnold, and in this show we'll help highlight opportunities and strategies to help get you out of the rough and into success both financially and personally. And on today's show I got Ed Bernstein. Ed Bernstein's with 25 Store Scorecard, and you were on one of the inaugural shows. Welcome back. I wasn't aware of the inaugural at the time. Yes, you were, you were. I'm now, proud to be a charter member. I'll tell you what, you are fantastic when it comes to marketing, when it comes to reaching out, and I'm excited about a new product that you developed. 25 Scorecard is a discount for both uh, consumers and a way for merchants to reach out. Tell us just real basically about the 25 Scorecard. Well, 25 Score has been in uh, existence since 1989. It originally started with a, mag a magazine that was published every year, and all the merchants would advertise themselves uh, in display ads. And it was a big project. You'd have to produce this magazine, call all the merchants, get all the artwork. And then in 2006, the, the original owner had decided that the technology was moving forward away from printing publications, and he wanted to reduce his cost, and he wanted to be more uh, effective at not having something that's printed the whole year. So he went to an online version of the publication, and he was kind of a, front, you know, a pioneer because there's still quite a few organizations that still print an on a, a physical catalog. In a lot of cases, the people that got it looked at the catalog and then filed it. So it wasn't being referenced as much as time went on. So uh, they went to a mobile website where you would be able to look up who was a merchant, and the new ones would flow down as they came on each week. And the activity on the site was not very active. You know, one or two new merchants a month was what people, so people stopped looking. When we took over the company, we, uh, we, we figured we had to make sure everybody was still in, so we called every single merchant. We made sure they were still in the same place. We found quite a few who had disappeared and nobody had called them in years. So they said, wow, you know, they were all excited that somebody actually called them. And we ended up updating our list, updating the site, doing better artwork, and we started adding 10, uh, t renewing or adding 10 new merchants a week. Now, right now, you, have over, relevant. Four, you have over 750 merchants right. and four... 40,000 cards. Now the card is a simple card. You carry it in your wallet and uh, when you go into a, a place of business, they you offer it by simply saying it the date. And you get a discount. And uh, that, that is terrific. Now, you did this new online uh, app, both with the Droid and the iPhone. Tell us about how the app works. Well, we felt that, you know, uh, I carry a wallet that's super thick in my pocket. And most, most women would want a keychain. We are going, do we do a keychain? Do we make it convenient for them to carry it with them? And then I started thinking a lot of our places are drive throughs So what do you do? Unplug the keychain from your, from your car. So what can we do that they'll always have with them that be re relevant and let them search? And we started thinking mobile app. And a lot of mobile apps are for games and such. Uh, ours allowed it to be a tool to find our merchants. We started saying, do we write this ourselves? Do we partner with somebody? And what we really needed was to have the card on the phone validated so that when it was expired, it goes off the phone. And it shows the merchant what they've always needed to see. And it had to look like the card, because I would never be able to reach all 800 again to say, this is the card. So it looks just like the card in your pocket. So you, you go ahead and you have an iPhone here. I and, have both uh, the Droid and the iPhone. So let me, let me just uh, show this real quickly. Mm -hmm. So it's the card. Here's the app. It's the card that's, you hit the app, and the card comes up. On your screen. It's right here. Perfect. And so there's the app. Now, the one thing that's intriguing um, for me, because I'm, I'm still the old school, I, I haven't uh, bought into these uh, sophisticated uh, devices, and that is you can check in at different locations when you go there. So it's got a Bluetooth function functionality of being able to check into a, a merchant and getting deals right on the spot. Right. Well, about a year and a half ago, a bunch of different organizations started doing check-in stuff. You have Facebook, you have Google. And people, and it's a whole bunch of different groups. It's fragmented about who's going to use what app. And it was just for fun. You become the mayor of a certain place. We felt that it would be, uh, it should be documentable. It shouldn't be they go down the street and check in. They should be in the building. So we partnered up with Wireless Works, which was a company that had built Bluetooth technology to track people in a building for fire and safety. And they did this for 10 years, and they were looking a way to monetize their technology in the marketing sector. So we met with them. They gave us our card on the phone. They gave us a validation. They gave us the maps, and what they wanted is a Bluetooth transmitter on site so that we can track whenever someone checks in and be able to push out information, not from the web, but from the actual transmitter to give them a coupon. So you check, or you're driving down the street, you're somewhere, and you want to find out what the closest restaurant is that has, use the 25 scorecard so you're going to get a discount. That works yeah. along with walking into a merchant and getting yeah. a discount right it there. It still works this like it always did before. They have a sticker on their window, they have a card in their hand. 
But if you have it on your phone, it's easier to use. If you're a stranger in town who've never heard of 25 Score and you go into a Marriott and you get the card in your hand and you download the app, you can now go to Mount Tasia or I Station where they may never have driven that far into the city because they look at a map and it looks far away, but we're so used to following directions. You know, half the time you don't have to get to a friend's house anymore because right. you follow the GPS and you don't remember. I like that because that's good for business. That's good for business here in the Santa Clarita Valley where if you check into a Marriott, you get one of these cards where you can, it's and good for 30 days. they can explore with 25 score. Let's, let's go through this. So you sign up for an application. Uh, you get the application. It's free. It, it's free. Anybody it, can download it. It's 25 yeah. score map on both shopping carts. Now, uh, it's good for the merchant because the merchant's business is promoted. It's good for the consumer because it helps get them out of the rough and into success and save a couple bucks. But also high schools are participating in right. this. The high app. schools was a big part of 25 Score from day one. It really was launched with COC and the high schools having cards so those parents and, and kids could save money at pizza and drinks and stuff and expanded into all areas of, of commerce. We have 500 merchants that are not food or entertainment. They weren't being seen because they thought tacos and burgers and going to Disneyland. Now, with all the things that you need to save money on, these are high ticket items. We've got a mobile home park out of uh, Lodi. They'll give you $1,000 off the purchase of a house just by showing your card or two months free rent. Or That's can, a big chunk of money for a $20 card you're buying. Exactly. Or you can go down and get a, get a discount for a pizza. Or mm -hmm. you can go down and get discounts for or legal tickets. legal services or chiropractic services or you name it. You could pretty much, unless it's really obscure, there's probably somebody on 25 score that honors a card in some profession. I love it. Love it. So you can stay and play at Marriott. You get a, a, a card when you check in, plus there's discounts. Mm -hmm. And how does it help the merchants of the high schools? Every year there's a new stream of high school students coming through that may or may not have heard a 25 score. It becomes, you remember the first time you had one. You remember right. the first time you used it. And it's a very affectionate use of a product. It's right. a very loyal product. And right. Santa Clarita has a lot of loyal customers. So we're just promoting businesses by giving that experience. And it's, you don't have to give away your store like a lot of things are going on now. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to drag someone into your store, you have to almost give away half your profit. Mm -hmm. With us, since you're saving everywhere you go, it adds up to thousands of dollars at 10% off. Right, right. So it doesn't kill your brand, it doesn't kill your margins, and it breeds loyalty. And if you decided not to do it anymore, it's not so much money that they'll say, well, I'm not going to do this because I used to pay half. Right. 10% off, they'll probably still come. It also helps people get out of the rough and in success because they people like to save a couple bucks because things are really tough right now. It Ed, becomes a game. Merchants want to get a hold of you to, to be a part of 25 Scorecard. Somebody wants to, to get your app or someone, just a business person here, wants to know how you went about creating that app. How can they get a hold of you? Um, it's pretty hard. You, you just dial 661 and do 25 score. 25 score. It's 257-2673. Yeah, we're a little obsessed with the number 25. There's 25 on the app. There's 25. We're going to $25, probably two for 25 in after August, um, so that we get 25 back into the pricing of the program. And the uh, website's 25score.com. 25 25score. 25 25score.com. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming in again. Uh, creative and something new to help get people out of the rough. We're going to jump to a quick break, but when we come back, we got Jake Young from American Family Funding. Is now the right time for you to buy home.